just a side note, I mentioned that um, you can actually customize this width and not add a hard-coded width, right? Because what if your app is running on a larger screen or like a wider screen, then 500 wouldn't may not suffice or it may exceed all the way through. It really depends. So we need to access the device width because all phones come in different shapes and sizes, especially for Android phones. So to access the device width, to know the device width, you have to import dimensions from React Native, okay? So to do that, comma, dimensions. So here, it's an interface, and here we can access the width and the height of the device that is running your application. So it's part of React Native, you can read the, the documentation. So we can get the device width here. So I'm going to assign this to a variable called device width. And to get it, you could call dimensions.get then window. So name of so this is a documentation, so we're going to get window. And dot width. And then we replace 500 with the device width. Device width. So you don't really see the change, but what if, like, this is a smaller screen and there's a bigger screen right there, like Note, Samsung Note, probably. So 100 would be too small. Like, try 300. So, yeah. so it may just look like this for them because you hard coded the width. That's why it's important to do this to make it adjustable for the device that's running your application. And now, with the dev device width, it fills the screen perfectly here. So, it's also so sometimes when you see some code on the internet. Usually they round this round this um, up or down depending on the device width. So it doesn't really matter. It's also it also fits perfectly. Okay, so that's just a side note and congratulations. Now you've learned one more another element from React Native called dimensions. So if you want to access the height can just say dot height so but now I just need the width okay great now this looks perfectly <clears throat> one last thing before we move on to the restaurant card so although this looks good um, online here so with QuickTime but on my phone which is an i What's this phone? Oh, it's a it's an iOS X Pro Max. So it has there there's something that's covering it here. So there's um there's a thingy here with the camera and the speaker that's covering like most of the space here. So it looks like Food Central text is just a little below that thing. So we wouldn't want uh, the label to be at the center, not really. We want it to be towards the end. So we can restyle that from align uh, justify content center to flex end. So flex flex end means the bottom. Flex start means at the top, and then we could just add a bottom margin, margin bottom of say 10. Okay, that's too small. 20.
So to so after flex end, you should add a couple of a bit of space here so that it's not really sticking to the bottom of this header. So to do that, to add a space within this header, you can use you can add a padding. So that's padding, padding bottom. Let's say ten. Save. It's a bit too low. Let's add twenty. Okay, looks good. So it's a bit. It looks like it's at the center of this header, and it still looks good even without that thing here. So it works well for both my iOS, this one, and my Android device. Okay, so in the next video. We're going to finally create the card, which will contain all the restaurants that we will have. So I'll see you again in the next video.